All right, it's uh, February uh, 15th, 2013. Obviously, everybody's heard about it. It's become worldwide. Now, meteors and asteroids are chunks, tiny little chunks of asteroids, which, be, which are called meteorites when they break off and go into the Earth's atmosphere, uh, happen all the time. Go on the NSA, NASA website. You'll see that. But I cryptically predicted these meteor strikes as far back as 2008 in a mixture of Nostradamus philosophy, biblical philosophy, Egyptian Book of the Dead philosophy, quantum physics, and chaos physics, all combined together because through DNA interpretation as far as what, what you could call um, compounded piggyback interpretations, connecting the dots. Now the government still hasn't figured out, you know, I know they've got people that have worked on my stuff and they've all sitting very carefully and taken notes and of course have abused me by neglecting me, harassing me in the past, doing all the stuff they did and now they know I'm a permanent enemy. Uh, the worst thing you want to do is continue to keep making a permanent enemy out of me because uh, that meteor strike is nothing compared and now I'm going to break my cryptic prediction, uh, my cryptic um, tradition, okay, and tell you a lot worse is coming. And that's why worldwide you've got the media all of a sudden, and they're talking like a real movie Armageddon coming to life or coming true. A real deep impact movie coming true. Or when Sean Connery and, uh, and uh, now the deceased uh, Natalie Wood played in the movie Meteor in the 80s. Um, these movies have been made repeatedly and like I said in the past this is not nothing of all of the nothing that actually takes place in the universe is a coincidence at all. Trust me, it isn't. And if anyone really is educated in the highest order of quantum physics they're going to agree with me absolutely 100 percent and I'll tell you why they didn't hook up their computers the way I did they didn't connect the dots with Dr. Emoto and the 99th monkey philosophy and quantum entanglement and how it really works and this is what has the government really stymied I guess and they will never admit it because see then they'd have to admit that they've got some raving lunatic who changes his, his uh, his modus operandum from every second to every minute confuses the hell out of everybody only a person with super bipolar tendencies would be able to half ass keep up with me it's actually not bipolar it is multitasking the human brain like I mentioned in my other videos how long the DNA strands are how they stretch past Pluto another 49 one person DNA stretches past Pluto another 49 billion 800 million miles and each strand each one each of the 100 trillion strands of a human's DNA one human holds three three billion bits of information um, no one other than the super experts have as much knowledge as I do and the reason that we're all kept apart is because they've already become prostitutes and are working for the government like slaves and I haven't. That's the difference between me and them. And if they want to keep their job, of course, they're going to counter anything I say or um, downturn anything I say, disagree with anything I say, uh, give the government total opposite information, wrong information, which in this particular case, when I'm talking tonight on February 15, 2013, you're playing with the life of the planet. More than six billion people's lives are going to go gone. Okay? Am I making that clear? And there's not a hell of a lot anybody can do about it except me. And because of my deep, deep knowledge of quantum physics, yes, I am one of the only ones that can stop an event like that. I'm not going to tell you how I'm going to do it. But I'll tell you this, it's so simple, it's as simple as my oil, spherical oil tanker that would have stopped all the oil spills in the 1970s. Or it's as simple as my two-story house that would have stopped the droughts. You know, you're the ones that are screwing up, not me. 
So remember what I said that I want to live long enough to see you people suffer the way you made me suffer. Unfortunately, as far as America is concerned, this meteorite, which was probably a chunk off the big meteorite that was making a pass by 17,000 miles today, uh, which obviously didn't hit, but if either one of them had hit land, it would have made just a bigger, big, would have made a crater a little bit bigger than the Winslow, Arizona crater, which is, you know, meteor crater here in Arizona. Um, but uh, if the uh, football size one had hit water, the one that hit uh, in Arizona, the Winslow, Arizona, was about three RTD buses long. It's about 90 feet to 100 feet wide. Uh, if you say the asteroid that passed us, that didn't hit us, was uh, supposedly football field long, which is what, 500? So, um, so that one would have made probably a much, much bigger uh, hole uh, traveling at, if it was traveling at 33,000 miles an hour like the little meteor was that, that swooshed past Russia and broke all the windows and did all that damage. Um, like in the movie Armageddon, you never know whether these are just the beginnings of something much bigger that's coming. And I'm telling the planet Earth right now, stick your head between your rear and kiss it goodbye. And I'm going to be glad when everybody goes, because everybody goes with me. Now you had a choice. Three years ago you came to my house. My house was set on fire. You, you impounded all my vehicles. You took all my property. You kept hounding me. You kept harassing me. You set wheels in motion that destroyed my life. Thirty years of it. So now, billions of years of progress, as far as the homo sapiens species is concerned, is about to be snuffed out. I'm not going to tell you when it's going to happen because you deserve not knowing. I think you're probably better off not knowing. Just go about your crappy little lives and buy your crappy $4, $5 a gallon gas and keep kicking each other's and pointing missiles at each other and all that crap. It's not like the movie Meteor where Ron Sean Connery says this meteor that had the <coughs> nuclear missiles up in space in orbit. Uh, Peter the Great, one was called, America had their version, and they said the missiles were, were supposed to be pointing out, not inward, you know, at, at each other. So, so, you can pray to God all you want to. The gods that you're praying to are not real. They are facetious, they are malicious, they are tricksters. They are not out for your best interest. There's only one God that exists that is not out to create maliciousness and that God works through me exclusively and I don't care about all of you I can hardly wait for this big one to come and smash your crappy little lives to hell because that's what your society did to me that's what the United States of America federal state and local did to me so hey enjoy your lives as long as you can because they ain't gonna last any longer and I'm gonna smile when that thing hits Luckily, this asteroid that passed 17,000 miles, if it had hit, it probably would have created a smoke uh, funnel, uh, a, a gas cloud, and dust and particles. Probably would have thrown them up into the atmosphere, probably as much as Mount St. Helena's did. Probably equivalent to that. Maybe, maybe a little more, a little less. Who knows? But I'll let the scientists get on TV and explain their so-called expert opinion. How can, how can you believe a scientist that's of expert opinion that's on a planet that's so tiny that when the Voyager spacecraft took a picture of it, the whole planet Earth is the size of the dot on the sentence on an 8.5 by 11 photograph page, the sentence that tells you what that dot is, which is the planet Earth. That's how big it is at 3 billion miles away but that the human DNA strain goes past Pluto 49 billion 800 million miles. That should tell you volumes about where your minds are supposed to be. You're not supposed to be attacking each other. You're not supposed to be hurting people like me, damaging people like me, making, us, making people like me grind our teeth at night from stress and agony, from the, from the unfair laws and regulations that you people hold. So hey, Mr. Obama, Mr. Russian President, Mr. Everybody, 
This is reality supreme being. A person who should have been in power more than 10 years ago. And none of the shootings would have happened. None of this stuff that all this crap that's been happening would have been happening. So now you can go to all your churches and pray and, and, and yell to God and sing to God. Hey, you know you're singing to empty space because these tricksters have played the biggest trick on you that you could ever imagine. I'm one of the only ones that knows the true answers about planet Earth, why it's here, why it survived for so long, at least as far as the human species is concerned, and why it's going to be cut short. I think if you go to speak to the woman, Gabrielle, the three children from Spain, she has a date that she has kept secret about what God told her if mankind doesn't change their ways something real bad is going to happen well hey go ask her your question she lives in New York I'm sure maybe she'll tell you but I'm not going to tell you I know the exact date she's thinking about but whatever date she has in her head it alters from time to time depending on what the human race is doing and it alters depending on how many avatars are out there. She's an avatar, I'm an avatar. There's a lot of us avatars, brothers and sisters out there trying to tell you you're doing wrong and you did wrong to me and now bad things happen when you create bad karma on someone's personal life. Don't, don't believe me. I don't care if you don't believe me. These meteors were not coincidence. How did they get under the radar? Well, I think Billy Bob Thornton pretty much said it in the movie. The president says, and we didn't see this incoming, a meteor the size of Texas? And Billy Bob says, well, sir, Mr. President, uh, uh, we only get $3 million for our budget, for our budget on the sky, and it's a big-ass sky, Mr. President. <laughs> yes, it is a big-ass sky. And there's tons of them that you're not going to be able to see. So, like I said, at 12 minutes in this video, enjoy your life. I can hardly wait till the media, mainstream media finally gets around to saying, Caesar, we'd like to do a complete worldwide interview with you, and that's when I'm going to lower the boom. I want the same amount of money that Mr. Zapooter was paid by CBS for the Zapooter film of the John F. Kennedy assassination. I want that same amount of money plus now punitive damages as well. That's what the media is going to have to pay to get any kind of interview with me. Otherwise, get the crap that I've put on the YouTube because and more than 80% of it is all shock effect crap. And I'd have to be there to tell you as an editor to tell you, well, that's true, that's not. I meant that, but I didn't mean that. Well, why did I do that and not mean it? Well, because it's part of the plan that my excellent brain was able to put together and formulate until this day. February 15th, 2013, when I knew these two meteors were going to be coming by here. But that's, like I said, only the tip of the iceberg that's coming. Talk to you later. Bye, Mr. President. Enjoy the nice disasters, all of you leaders in the world. The Bilderberg Group, enjoy all your money. But kiss your, you know what, behinds goodbye.